Hey everyone, um, today we're going to discuss how to make sure Ethereum 2 nodes and beacons and everything else is up and running, like smooth and sound. But sometimes things can go wrong, like network is down, hardware is down, like your beacon is not running or functioning, some bug or something like that. And you want to be alerted right on the spot when things go wrong, just to make sure you don't lose money while staking. So an uptime check is in Google Cloud, which allows you to basically send a request to a resource to see if it responds. That's basically it. So let's try to get into it. So right here, I went to cloud.google.com and I'm searching for, so make sure you go to cloud.google.com. Let's search for monitoring right here. And the first thing you do is to select a project for monitoring, which we don't have initially. So let's create a new project. Let's name this ETH2, like that, and you create it. While it's creating, on the top right, let's wait a minute, and you click on the button called Select. Then you'll bring, it's kind of overwhelming, I agree, because there's so much stuff happening on the left and so much stuff happening on the right, but it's once you get it, it's, you get a free service to continually monitor your services online. So on the, top, on the far right, you see something called monitoring tab. You want to go to the monitoring portal, the dashboard. So we're going to monitor dashboard by clicking on the button on the right. It's building a workspace. It's going to do everything for you. Let's give it some time. Okay, so now we created the dashboard for monitoring. And the next thing to do is you want to create an uptime check. As I said before, an update check is just a request sent to a resource to see if it responds. A resource could be an app engine instance, an AWS instance, a VM anywhere in the world, or even a URL. In our case, we're going to create a URL. So once you click on the uptime checks on the far left, there's a button on the top right called create uptime checks. Let's do it. And you give it a title. The title will be, let's do the guest node for now. So we type in geth in the title, we click next. Then the protocol is TCP. And here you can check which resource type you want to put. In our case, we're going to put our IP address. Then the port is 30303. That's a port we open. Let's make it, you can do it whatever frequency you want. I'll just do five minutes because I don't feel like I need to hammer my server that much. And for now, I'm just going to uncheck the regions and just put United States. That's all I care about for now because Google already has three places in the United States that will check it for you. So when their data centers go down, the other data center will come up. And I'll just put next for the response time and I'll make sure I get an alert every minute. So now the next step of this process is you have to create a notification channel. How do you want to alert us? How are you going to alert me that my cert, my beacon, my, my, my geth node goes down? So you just click on notification let's manage notifications. And then the next step you do is you basically need to figure out which notification you want. You can have a mobile device, a pager duty, Slack, webhook, email, SMS. So I want to put um, an SMS so you, or an email. So I can choose either or. So you can put as many as you want. So I'm going to put an SMS for now. And then you put in your number. Put it in me. So I'll, I'll name it cell phone, my cell, and I'll send a verification code. You verify it, and then it's set up to receive your number. I can set an email as well. And now I have two um, endpoints. You basically go back to your here, you click on a refresh button. Yeah, it's kind of intuitive to go like so many places. Then you can click on one to be notified by my cell or my personal email and you say, okay. And when you hit test, it will basically ping the node and it says responded and you say create. And that's it. That's how you create the uptime check on the geth provider. And the way this will look like, is I'll show you how it how it I already have one set up for a week or so, and I'll show you how it looks like. 
So here is my setup right now. I brought it over. It's been running for a week. Only North America, as you see right here, you'll see green checkboxes if it works. I click on the node itself, Ethereum 1 node. You'll notice that everything is 100% passing. The latency is decent to the Google App Engine. It'll tell you which servers it's hitting it from. And so far, everything is good. Nothing is wrong. This latencies are different, but it's everything is stable. You can go to six hours ago, one day ago, one week ago. I just started like less than a week ago. And this is how it looks like. Same thing for Prism. So that's what I do. Same thing. Everything's 100% uptime. If it was down, I would see uh, an issue that something's went down. Um, you'll see a dip happening. Um, that's it. That's how you set up uh, an Ethereum to uptime check to make sure your services are functioning. So if you like this, let me know, give a thumbs up and I can do more videos very fast like this in the future. Thank you. Happy staking.